So how do we address issues of institutional injustice? Um, you know, we're, we're living in a really difficult time uh, uh, right now. Um, in, and it's not just us in the United States. It's, it's, it's a global phenomenon where there is a lack of faith in institutions. There are a lot of valid reasons, and I don't disagree with them um, in, you know, uh, in regard to their critique. Um, do we abandon institutions? Does God abandon institutions? And I guess I would reframe it this way, say, well, does, do you still want community? Does God care for community? And that one people are like, yeah, I want community. Well, uh, when you get individuals together and then you want them to work together, <laughs> then you need to negotiate beyond just the individual. And so, um, but here's the thing. When you do that, you do need to think beyond just interpersonal and do think in terms of policies that reach beyond just what you can negotiate on a one-to-one -one basis and be inclusive of groups of people and people different than yourselves and so forth and negotiate perhaps rules of engagement, if you will, for people you don't even know. Uh, because collectively you can do something together that you can't do by yourself. And then those kinds of rules though, here's the question, are they fair? Are they just for everyone? And I think that's where we have to think through then issues of systemic injustice. Right. Were the rules that were written, the rules that were practiced, were the practices, were they genuinely fair for everyone? And I think that's where uh, we can then, I think in a, in a, in a productive manner, be, uh, have an opportunity to, to genuinely engage institutions and not just outright dismiss them. Given the fact that God doesn't prescribe one kind of institution per se, um, all of them then have weaknesses. All of them have flaws. And uh, as people of God then, uh, we, we look to each instantiation of these particular institutions, whether family, church, nation, so forth. And we ask the kinds of primary questions we asked earlier. Are we caring for the least of these amongst them? In our time, uh, I think there is a lot of soul searching. I think we are doing, and I think it's good. I think it's good for God's people. It's hard, right? But, uh, as, and I speak as one who wants to do that kind of soul searching and critique, and nonetheless acknowledge that God can still work through various communities.